Hey guys, in this video I want to take a look at an amazing new upscaler that uses artificial intelligence. Now what we're looking at here is the result of one of the upscales. It's amazing in terms of its quality. You've got this sort of suede leather. You've got this clockwork here with the dial. You've got these weird utility instruments here. Our hero here is actually a mouse and I've upscaled him to this image here is 8K. And at 8K, we can see all sorts of things. We can see the buildings in the background. We can see details here on the architecture. That stuff is not there originally. Let me show you the original image and you'll see how far we've come. Now this is the original image, 1024 by 1024. You can see we've got none of that detail that we created. And the outcome that I got was by doubling this in size and then doubling it again and again until we reach that sort of 8K limit. Now the thing I was doing here was actually testing a model that I created. And we're gonna be taking a look at how to use the upscaler in a specific way. We can look at how to create high resolution images for creating a model. This is Scenario, some of you guys already use it. What I want to do is to show you how this new upscale works. We go to upscale and inside of upscale, we get a bunch of options. So we get standard, precise, balanced, creative. The styles can change, but anime, photography, photography produces amazing results. I can actually show you one result that I got with the photography preset. And what you're looking at here is a simple 1024 by 1024 render and we use the photography preset to create this amazing looking image with the detail much much more lifelike than the original You're almost taking something that's plastic and making it look human now to get to that really high quality mouse image we started off with a simple image and i did several two by two upscales and so we ended up with the 8192 by 8192. And at 8192, the, the amount of detail is pretty amazing. If we go in again and look at the utility area, you can see the dials on the clock face. And another thing which is worth mentioning is that we started off on this area here with what looks like a Latin numerals. And then we ended up with something that looks Arabic in nature, the numerals on the clock face. Now the it actually allows you to know what settings you use. So if you like a particular upscale, or if an upscale goes wrong, you can actually look back at the old details that you used to do the upscale. It stores all the presets. So you can come back and say, okay, this preset really worked. Image fidelity, prompt strength, HDR. And equally, if something didn't come out quite right, you know exactly what results came from which parameters. Uh, this was another image where we started off with a really kind of ordinary looking simple SDXL render. And then, whoa, <laughs> when we double the size, it becomes much more lifelike. But let's look at, let's look at the upscale options. We've got upscale, scaling factor, which is two, four, and if it's a small image, you can go to eight or 16. You've got precise, balanced, creative. These are the presets. Precise gives you a very precise upscale. So it tries to keep things as they, exactly as they were, but just adds more detail. You've got balanced, which is kind of in between. It's a good starting point and creative. What creative does is to crank this up. You almost, you almost definitely want to uh, reduce this to about 80 or less. Or alternatively, you might want to crank up the image fidelity to, to, to see how you can get creative uh, whilst maintaining a bit of, it can get a bit surreal if you put in the creativity very high. So about zero to 80 for creativity. The HDR, image fidelity, prompt strength, we all know what those mean. The prompting is important as well because the prompting will have a big influence on the upscale. It's a good idea sometimes just to get rid of the prompts and just to use the image itself. One thing that really got me stumped was where the upscaled images go. So these are all the images I've been creating recently. And to get to the, to the upscale images, we have to choose type upscales and it will show you all of the images that you've upscaled in one location. So that is something that took me a bit of time to work out. But if you want to play around with this, I'll have a link in the description below. And I'll also have a video that will be coming up where we're going to look at how to use a lot of the features inside of Scenario. So that's something to look forward to. If you want to see that, definitely subscribe to see more and hopefully be seeing you guys soon.